this may be the only way you can still buy an RTX 3080 and I'm going to help you do it. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap, a better alternative to eBay that I really think you should take a look at. RGB Swap is a marketplace exclusively for selling and buying computer parts that offers much lower fees than competitors such as eBay as well as greater protection against scams. Whether you're a buyer or a seller, you're guaranteed to be protected since all orders have to be paid for first and the funds are held for 48 hours after the buyer receives the item or they leave feedback, ensuring that you never get sold a bad item. Additionally, all disputes are manually reviewed and PayPal is used exclusively for an extra layer of security. I gotta tell you guys, I like this website a lot and I really want it to take off as a better alternative to eBay, so please, if you're interested in buying or selling PC parts online, click the link in the description below and give it a shot. I think you'll really like it. Alright, so the RTX 3080 launched all the way back in September of 2020 and now we're coming into April of 2021, which means it's been nearly 7 months since the initial release of the RTX 3080. Unfortunately, it's still incredibly difficult to get your hands on one. Now, if you take a look at, say, the RTX 3070 and the RTX 3090, I have noticed at least over the last couple of weeks here, it has been getting a little bit easier to get your hands on these cards. But, you know, either way, pretty much any type of RTX 30 series card and even any AMD card is still really, really difficult to get. So, in this video, I'm going to go over the best ways you can try and get your hands on at least one of these cards. Because if you are looking at an RTX 3080, you may actually have to consider uh, potentially looking at, say, an RTX 3070 or maybe even even an RTX 3090 if you're willing to spend that ridiculous amount on a GPU as again those cards are much easier to get your hands on uh, relative to the RTX 3080 anyway as they are still really difficult to get and then we're going to talk about the one sure way that you can get your hands on an RTX 3080 right now but first let's go ahead and talk about those best methods of trying to get your hands on at least some sort of RTX 30 series GPU even if you can't get an RTX 3080 so uh, the best way if you are looking for say an RTX 3080 well for the first step you got to do is you're going to have to follow some sort of bot on Discord and I do recommend the bot BroBot. Now I've been following them for a little while here and I've had the most success by following the BroBot bot. Uh, there will be a link in the description below. No, this video is not sponsored by them. I just do think that they actually are that good. I've had a lot better success using them than many other bots that I've ever used. So if you click that link in the description below, there will be a link right to their Discord. When you join their Discord, you're going to want to go ahead and click on which uh, video cards or processors that you're going to want to try and follow as I know there's a lot of people who are also still trying to get say a 5950X or 5900X Ryzen processor as well, and they do track those. Uh, they track most of the major websites such as Amazon, Best Buy, uh, Newegg, and I believe they also track BH Photo as well as AMD.com. So they do track most of those major websites, and I do find them to be very, very fast. And I have been seeing a lot more success lately over there. Uh, obviously, you're still going to be competing against a lot of different people who are on that server who get those notifications because what a bot like BroBot does is it essentially looks on all these various different websites and then it sends you a link as soon as one pops up in stock and then you have to go ahead and click that link and manually purchase it still. Uh, so that leads me on to step two as since this isn't some sort of like auto purchasing bot, it's not going to do that for you. You are going to have to have all your purchasing information on hand like ready to go right away. So make sure that you got whatever credit cards that you're going to be using or if you're using PayPal, make sure that you're already logged into that if you need to be. Make sure that you're logged into Newegg as well as Best Buy, Amazon, all these different websites. Just be logged in already on your computer as well as your phone. Uh, make sure that you have your phone on you at all times because if you get that notification, you have to be fast as you know step one and two do help you quite a bit but step three is really what seals the deal and step three is you have to be fast so like if you've got your phone on you and you get that notification you gotta like have your biometric set up so you just you know put your finger against your phone it logs you in and then you click the link and then you go over to the link you purchase it and you know a lot of these websites once you get something in your cart it seems to give you at least a little bit of a grace period so that should help you a little bit and I, I know not all websites work this way in Amazon in particular I would be a little bit skeptical when you get notifications from Amazon as not only does it seem like they don't have any bot protection whatsoever at least from what I can tell since things uh, seem to go out of stock within like literally one or two seconds at Amazon which is just absolutely ridiculous but on top of that you know even if you do have the chance to buy something and I've seen this before uh, where there is like a 3060 or a 3070 just sitting there for like you know 10 minutes um, well it turns out the reason why it's sitting there is because they don't actually have it they're selling you a promise they may be actually just waiting for this item to come in and it might say like oh you can buy 
buy it right now, but we're not going to get it for like two weeks, three weeks, uh, a month, two months. Uh, so be very wary of those Amazon purchases. But if you are very, very quick and you get a notification from like Best Buy or Newegg or any of these other sites uh, that I think are probably going to have a better chance of you actually getting something, then you do actually have a decent chance of trying to get whatever card you're looking for. But again, you're going to have to maybe widen the range of the type of card you're looking for. So let's say you're looking for specifically an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Strix. Well, that's going to be a little bit too narrow and you may have, you know, a really, really hard time finding that card. You may have to go, okay, let's look at basically any RTX 3080 that comes in that's at least close to MSRP. And then if you're still not having luck, you might have to go, okay, let's look for somewhere between a 3070 to a 3090 of any brand as again, as long as it's near the original MSRP that it's supposed to be. Uh, of course, saying that basically any and all AIB cards at this time aren't going to be at the $700 price point for an RTX 3080. They're going to be more expensive because of tariffs as well as inflation is starting to hit. So it's definitely just going to be more expensive to buy video cards, not only now, but also going forward into the future. It's very unlikely that prices are going to come down unless competition from AMD as well as Intel gets very, very aggressive. So just keep in mind, things are going to be expensive. Unfortunately, that's the way it's going to be. Um, if you don't like it, the only thing you can do is not buy a video card right now. And that might help the situation. But at this point, so many people have bought video cards for thousands of dollars uh, that there's really no turning back at this point. And again, like, like I said earlier with the inflation and all that going on, it's just how it's going to be going forward, unfortunately. But there's two other things that you can do if you want to try and get a video card. So the first one, um, Best Buy does tend to have drops every single week or at least every other week. And if you go there, when Best Buy has their drops, just open up a bunch of different tabs with different video cards. And just, you know, when you click the add to cart button, it'll say, please wait. And if you have a bunch of tabs open, uh, once one of those goes yellow, you may actually have a better chance of getting a card. Also, if you get one in your cart and they're not willing to ship it to you or it's not able to go to a Best Buy near your location, you may just want to save it in your cart and just keep trying every now and then because it may actually end up being available a little bit later if they have another drop and then you already have it in your cart. Uh, I've had success with uh, doing that as well. That's how I was able to get a card. Um, and then on top of that, if you do have a micro center near you, this is definitely going to be a good option as well. If you happen to be going somewhere near a micro center, just go ahead and pop in there. Sometimes they may actually end up having cards that nobody knows about. Uh, if you're really desperate, you can always like wait overnight if you think a drop's going to happen. However, again, if you're driving like six hours to a micro center to wait overnight, uh, you could end up getting nothing. So I wouldn't necessarily suggest doing that. Uh, but in any case, if you follow all those different steps and you got a micro center near you and you try that and you try doing the best buy drops, I do think that at this point supply is getting a little bit better. So this may actually be your best chance of buying a video card that uh, we've basically ever had since the launch of the RTX 30 series. Uh, like when the 3080 launched, there was kind of a period uh, on launch day where you might have had a chance. Afterwards, it's been really, really difficult to get an RTX 3080 simply because, uh, you know, I don't know if it's maybe like they're just so high in demand. I don't know if it's because uh, most of the dies are going towards 3090s or maybe it's even because a lot of these 3080s are being sold before they even hit retail to miners. That's something I don't really have the answer to, but either way, it just seems like it's really difficult to get them whatsoever. And again, you may have to look at maybe different brands or different cards altogether if you can't find that exact RTX 3080. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the one sure way that you can definitely get your hands on RTX 3080 right now. And some of you may not like this. However, this is basically the only way you're going to get it. And that's with a pre-built. So if you haven't built your computer yet and you're looking into building a computer, I would highly suggest looking at pre-built as this is, again, going to be the only way you can actually guarantee to get one. I will have Amazon affiliate links in the description below to a bunch of different pre builts which if you do click that link and you end up purchasing anything off Amazon, uh, just as a disclaimer, I do get a small kickback. But um, if you do check those links, uh, I can't really keep up with how much supply they have. So uh, make sure that it actually is going to have good shipping times before you go ahead and purchase anything. If you do decide to go with the pre built route. Of course, there are other options than buying ones on Amazon. I think there's other ones that like Origin PC people have mentioned to me. Uh, you can check Best Buy's website. There's a lot of different places where you can look for pre built um, They've been getting a little bit more expensive recently, but I have seen some that go as low as like the low $2,000 range. If you wanted to buy an RTX 3080 right now, basically your only other option is to buy it off of like Amazon or eBay for nearly $2,000 anyway. So you might as well get a full entire computer instead of just buying the video card itself and having someone profit a bunch off you. I think that's probably a better option. And even if you do want just the video card, you can maybe sell the rest of the parts and try and make some of that money back. However, I haven't done the math. It depends on how expensive uh, the whole PC is and how much of an upcharge there is for building it. But yeah, either way, that's pretty much the only way you can get an RTX 3080 right now for sure. I've seen them in stock. Again, they're getting a little bit more expensive. So if you want to buy a pre-built, I would definitely look into buying uh, probably now rather than waiting. However, again, saying that it could be that uh, if you do end up waiting, maybe prices will end up coming down. That's something that I don't really have the 
answer to. All I know is it does look like they are increasing, at least from what I've seen. But hey, that's just what I think. Would you buy an entire computer to get an RTX 3080, or would you rather continue to wait? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.